my crafty loving friends. Shelly here from Repurpose My Way. Today we have a trash treasure with a dupe mixed in with a creamer bottle and a peanut butter jar that I had left over. So let's get into this and I'll show you what I did. So we're going to do the peanut butter jar first. I saw these candle holders, I believe on Joss and Maine. And I'm going to put my own twist on it, but I wanted to do something with this peanut butter jar for decor. And I decided I was going to take some of my rope, my jute rope that I got from Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description for it. I do have an affiliate link with that. There is uh, quite a bit of wrapping and wrapping and wrapping of this jute rope, but I think it looks really cool. So I went about three quarters of the way up the jar. And then I took a wire in the picture of the actual candle holder. It is using the rope as the hanger, but I wanted to make a wire uh, hanger. And I took some of my wire that I got from, I believe I got that from Tractor Supply. And I wrapped it around, there's a lip on that peanut butter jar and I wrapped it around underneath that lip and used my pliers to kind of close up the loops that I made in it and then made a handle with the wire over the top. I had to finagle and, and work with it quite a bit to get it to uh, do what I wanted it to do, but I finally got it so it's a little bit better uh, but I change it a little bit later on and you will see what I do with that here pretty soon um, I didn't really care for how it looked I thought it looked a little too plain so I did something different with it so here I'm taking some of my ribbon that I got from Michaels uh, on a on a haul that I got from Michaels and this is like a kind of like a lacy burlap that it's so pretty and, and kind of dainty, really. Um, and I just thought it would be so cute to finish off the top of that rope with that lacy burlap um, ribbon. I thought it just gave it a nice finish on the top and I really liked how it looked. So around the top, there is a um, all the ridges from where you screw the top on of the peanut butter jar and I wanted to cover that up and make it look a little nicer and more finished so I took a different kind of ribbon this has a black stripe down the middle of it I thought this would look good with the black wire that I had for the hanger so I added that around the top and glued it on I'm going to take three of these beads with holes in them and I took the, after struggling with the handle um, and trying to get it to work and get it on there, I took it off and decided I would put the beads on. I wanted to uh, just make it look a little nicer because it just really did, it just looked so plain. So I'm gluing the, all the, I'm doing three beads in the middle of the holder on the top. And then I'm going to trim down the wire as well because I feel like it's a little too long for the candle holder. Um, but I'm also going to do something a little bit different. Again, I'm not going to leave it hanging like that because this isn't going to hang. Um, so here I'm cutting that off to make it a little shorter. And then just kind of adjusting it because it's a little, it's got some bends and stuff in it. So, so here I'm looking at it and I'm going, geez, I really like that down like that. Um, so I took some of my black and white checked ribbon that I got also, I believe, from Michaels. And I made a little bow, just a simple little, like a shoestring bow. And I glued that to my little beads that I have. And I also, and I guess I didn't put it in here, but I glued the beads down to the peanut butter jar. 
on to project number two. This picture was from Pinterest, I believe, and I had a creamer bottle and some leftover chicken wire from another project. So I thought that I would try and duplicate it. So here I'm just measuring out to see how long I need my chicken wire. This chicken wire from a previous uh, project was painted, spray painted black, which is great. That's just what I wanted. I believe the, the dupe uh, picture was like a rusty color, um, but I like the black in this one. This is fine for me. Uh, I want to make this my own anyway. So I'm just trimming off the edges and trying to make them so they're not pointy and stuff. Uh, it didn't work so well. It stayed pointy <laughs> no matter what I did. It's chicken wire. That's what it does, I guess. So I tried my best to straighten out some of the wire and make it so it wasn't so pointy, but it didn't work out so well. So here I'm just trying to see how tall I want it, how far up the bottle I want it to go, trying to figure out where to cut it. Um, I'm just holding it on there to see where it's going to sit. It's a little bit challenging with the little bow out on that bottle because it didn't sit flat, but it actually came out pretty good. I, I really um, thought it would be a lot more of a pain to put it on than it was. So after getting that cut out, which was a struggle, Again, I'm working with the wires on the top, but I figured out something that I could do later on that you'll see that makes it a little bit nicer so you don't have those sharp pointy edges. So I have some wire, really thin, thin wire, um, not like I used in the other project for the hanger. This is just really thin, very um, pliable wire that I was just using to basically kind of stitch that chicken wire onto the bottle. Um, I'm just going in and out and wrapping it around nice and tight so that that chicken wire would stay on there. And it actually wrapped around quite nicely. And I stopped the chicken wire just above, just a little bit above that bubble in the bottle. So that worked out pretty good. It laid very nicely on the bottle. So in the dupe picture, there is a jupe rope uh, or twine wrapped around the top. So that's what I wanted to do with this and mainly because it has those threads on the top for the cover to wrap on and I wanted to cover that up. So I uh, glued it around and around and as the ridges stuck out, I just went around with the rope randomly and just kind of haphazardly just wrapped it around and made it look like it was unintentional, just just sitting on there. Um, but I just had it covering up the plastic a little bit. So I liked how that looked. And then I had a few different types of stars, but this one was more like the dupe picture. So I decided that I would uh, put that one on instead of the other ones that I had. And I cut a piece of that wire that I used to wrap around the chicken wire to hold it on the bottle and just put it on through the hole of the star and then attached it to the chicken wire and I could have stopped there but I really the pointiness of the chicken wire bothered me and I still have a bunch of this jute rope left so I decided to just go ahead and wrap that around the top as well. And that covers up those spiky ends on that chicken wire. And it worked really well. And so after I went around it and glued, uh, I think, you know, a couple, couple turns around the bottle. Then I went around another couple times, uh, just again, randomly, haphazardly, and just to make it kind of look the same as the top um, and give it like a, not such a neat look. I wanted it to look a little just unintentional.
I like the look on the top a lot of the rope around the top so I decided to do it around the bottom as well and I did the same I just went around and around and tried to just cover up some of the sharp pieces of the wire and then just kind of make it random as I went around the other few times and just try to make them all look about the same. All right, let's see what you think, guys. Now the top of this, I didn't get it on film, but I'm showing you now. I added more jute rope to the top of this bottle to hold this, uh, I don't know, it was a wine cork rice lights, I guess is what they are. Um, I wanted to stick that down in there and the hole was a little bit too big. So I just added a little bit more rope and it seems to hold it really well. And the on and off switch is up there as well. So I think that looks so cute. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And hello to all of my new subscribers and thank you for joining. If you'd like to check out some of my other Trash to Treasure videos, here's the playlist right here.